I call to this hearing of the U.S. Senate Subcommittee and Food and Nutrition, Specialty Crops, Organics, and Research to order. I thank you for your leadership on this committee, and I look forward to working with you to pass a farm bill. All right, Senator John Fetterman just out of the hospital today, chairing his first subcommittee hearing. Funny thing happened in the Senate. John Fetterman, you saw, the junior senator who's been out on medical leave for longer than he's been a senator, got a hero's welcome. But this is a tale, really, of two senators. Dianne Feinstein, matriarch of the Democratic Party on the Judiciary Committee, has been gone for less time than Fetterman, and fellow Democrats want her to resign. It hardly seems fair. Nothing is as unfair as a double standard. Dr. Lauren Wright with us, professor, Princeton University. Chris Hahn, host of the Aggressive Progressive, are with us now. Uh, Lauren, is this just old-fashioned sexism? I don't think so. I mean, we talk about this on the show a lot. Just because you're criticizing a woman doesn't automatically translate to sexism. And to be fair, there have been questions about Dianne Feinstein's cognitive decline since the San Francisco Chronicle came out with this big expose over a year ago. And Politico has been looking into this. Every news outlet has been asking questions. And I think the fact that Democrats, very senior Democrats, are starting to talk about this means that there's a substantive issue here. Um, not to say I don't have tremendous respect for Dianne Feinstein if she's replaced. They're probably not going to get someone who agrees with Trump on some border security policies and, you know, challenges the Sunrise Movement mm -hmm. on uh, what can be done on environmental policy. But sometimes you have to look at these things on a case-by-case -case basis, and some of the questions are fair. Well, also, to be fair, Chris, there's some questions about John Fetterman's cognitive ability. We see, um, as he's recovering from his stroke still, that there's still some real issues with his speech and his cognition, whether or not that, that's his mental cognition or just his speech patterns, we don't know. But at the same time, you think about Fetterman by the numbers. Fetterman's sworn in. Um, Feinstein's sworn in. Um, she's been hospitalized uh, for 41 days or gone because of shingles for 41 days. Fetterman was checked into the hospital and has been gone for 44 days, so longer. He was sort of celebrated. Everybody said, we need to give time to John Fetterman to recover. You can't criticize him. You can't talk about him. On and on and on and on. If you do talk about him, it's criticizing someone who's going through a mental health crisis. Fine. But why is it that Diane Feinstein isn't given even a modicum of the benefit of the doubt? Has it just come down to uh, Democrats need somebody to cast a vote on the Judiciary Committee and anything else doesn't matter? No, I think she's in an important spot. She's from an important state, and I think she served America well in her tenure. And I, I, as Lauren said, there have been questions about her health for over a year now. Everything about Fetterman was known to the electorate. Yeah, but Chris, but Chris it used to, to be Washington. when you asked about Feinstein, when you used to ask about Feinstein, you were you were always shut down. Democrats were totally coalesced. The only time now anybody's mentioning her health, to be fair and accurate, is now that there's a, a, a vote on the Judiciary Committee they need. Nobody cared about her health when she was voting. Well, I, for one, want to know the real state of her health. I want to know if she's actually coming back, if this is actually shingles, if this is something that is going to continue to keep her sidelined from her duties in the Senate. If that's the case, she has a duty to the almost 40 million people she represents to resign and allow somebody who can capably, capably handle it. If not, if this is just a temporary thing, similar to what Fetterman went through, similar to what many senators go through. Senate, by the way, is, is Latin for old man. And, and many of them have fell <laughs> ill and missed their work in the Senate. So yeah, Mitch McConnell, if she's Mitch coming McConnell back, well. we should okay, know. Fair it, it, right. I, I only I only got about about 30 seconds left, but I want to give Lauren the last word. This brings up the issue of age and health. It's now yeah. Democrats who are bringing it up. Does that play in to everyone then dot, dot, dot? Joe Biden is also going to be in his mid 80s uh, as president if he is reelected. Well, look, they need Joe Biden. I think you know my views on this. I think he's the only Democrat that can beat a Republican in the general election, and he's beat everyone else that's on the roster or they have major issues. But, you know, with regard to the Feinstein issue, and I don't think Fetterman is 
said and done yet. I think people are paying very close attention to this. He almost lost to Dr. Oz. So yes, there have been questions. Democrats need a better argument than, well, you guys make excuses for your old and sick people too. I mean, Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.